A large earthquake has struck Indonesia today on the northern flank of Mount Rinjani. This mountain has a very unpleasant history and one directly related to a core focus of the community. Initial magnitude reporting came in at 7.0, and the only alert in existence for the region at that time came as a southward migration of blot echoes, which stopped there last night, continued during today's S0 News uploading to YouTube with a blot echo striking to its west, and less than one hour afterwards, the larger rumble occurred. The only automatic blot echo map on Earth indeed put the red dot up before it struck. There is a startling trend of OLR anomaly charts missing data over epicenters of larger earthquakes these days. The entire region is clearly a broad negative anomaly zone with Earth's strongest positive to the east. Now let's step back and recall that we're in an earthquake mega drought at magnitude 7 range, been over 5 months, outmatched only in the record by last year's record drought which we would hit on August 17th. And as you heard last night, the atmospheric shifts we've been waiting for have begun to occur. The sun is set to peak in positive field influence over our planet in the weeks ahead, and while it turns out, technically the drought remains. The USGS saw fit to drop the magnitude to 6.9, still the largest since May when the Hawaiian volcano took a 6.9, starting its eruption. Now I'll just come out and say it. I really hope that doesn't happen at Rinjani. In the late 13th century, the sun basically skipped a grand maximum right as Rinjani exploded and the Little Ice Age began. True, it wasn't until the Maunder Minimum after that near-failed maximum cycle that the Little Ice Age hit its worst points, but it all started with a drop in activity on our star combined with the most powerful volcanic eruption of the last 2,000 years at the now Caldera Don Mountain named Rinjani. 6.9, eyes on the lithosphere, and for now, yes, eyes on Rinjani as well. Eyes on the solar polar fields as they should be peaking in the coming weeks. Be safe, everyone.